Goeiemorgen familie, community, family, church, ons geestelike familie, baie welkom, dankie dat jy saam luister en kyk vandag, ons verwelkom ook allemaal ons vrienden, daar soveel honderde mense bijgekom oor die tyd van uh, uit hoe ons nou dien sou, en ons verwelkom jou ook, baie dankie dat jy saam luister. Michelle gaan vandag bedien, we are so excited, we are still busy with our 10 days of prayer, return South Africa. We believe God and trust God for a great spiritual awakening, revival in our nation as the new dawn has started and we trust God for great increase and influence uh, on and through His kingdom in the lives of so many people. Ons het jylle paar verjaarsta hierdie week gehad, ons wil eerste geluk sê Sean Lindenberg vir jou verjaarsta, jy is een groot sien, een wonderlijke voorbeeld, die hier is sien met een wonderlijke jaar. Fernando, we Twitter, we want to say happy birthday, Brother, God bless, I know that your family and your, your girls are spoiling you and um, we trust God for a wonderful year in your life. Dan was het ook Aubrey Ras se verjaarsdag, baie geluk Aubrey, die Heer is sien, jy is een wonderlijke broer en ons sien saam uit na groe dinge vir die jaar. Then Theo La Puerta, our drama, Melissa's husband. What a great brother, what a blessing. Always smiling, always positive in life. En jy is so'n mooi voorbeeld. Dankie Theo vir jou liefde en hoe jy die gemeente beinvloed dier jou talent en jou drome en jy kan selfs mooi sing en jy is nogal een aantrekkelijke man boon of ook. So God bless you Theo, we pray for a wonderful year. May the Lord give you the desires of your heart in this year. Dan vandag vir jaar Adrie Lindenberg, dit is nou um, Sjoense familie, sy vrou en uh, baie geluk Adrie, die Heer is sien, ons bid vir jou een mooi wonderlijke jaar. En ook um, Jenna, Michelle se sissie se dochter, sy is vandag 17. So baie geluk Jenna, ons is lief vir jou en ons bid ook vir jou een wonderlijke jaar toe. Hier is Michelle, hier is Michelle, God bless, uh, uh, you listen to the sermon and open your heart to receive and allow the Holy Spirit to do his work in you. We love you, God bless. For many years, Christians have been expecting a revival in South Africa. Some have said that it will spread from here to the rest of Africa. But revival does not come to a nation without deep sorrow for the wrongs in our lives and in our nation. The Return South Africa is a strong call to the people of God in South Africa to come back to Him. Although our churches might be empty, our hearts are full of expectation for God to break into our nation. You see, church is not a building, it's you and me. We are the church, and in these difficult times we cannot face the battle alone. We have a role to play. It's time for the church to return to God. We need to return to God in prayer, earnestly asking, Revive us again, O oh Lord. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. On the 26th of September, from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., more than 20 leaders from across South Africa will come together to lead the nation in a time of repentance and prayer. This highly focused prayer meeting will be live streamed on YouTube and Facebook so that anyone in the country or anywhere in the world can join and pray. This is a movement, an appointed time and day, set apart for one purpose, to return to God, to come before His presence in humility, in sincerity, in prayer and repentance. Join us on the 26th of September from 3 to 4.30 p.m. and spread the word so that we can return to God in prayer as a nation. During the return, there are 10 days of prayer and fasting from the 18th to the 28th of September which are open for anyone to join in. For more information, go to the website. We are here.
morning community family church and everybody joining us online dit is lekker 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 om saam met julle te kan kerk hou en in julle huise te kan keier dit is net altyd vir ons heerlik so um when we are currently um, nearing the end of uh, the return south africa a national event that has been running from the 18th of september and if you haven't been a part of it you are welcome to hop onto our youtube or facebook um, page and there you'll find our daily devotions for the 10 days of prayer every day um, a devotion per day um, on the return south africa and um, prayers for our country so we are continuing until the 28th of september so today is a very special day and um, um, a topic that perhaps isn't discussed often enough in church and um, yeah, it's my honor to be spending time in the Word with you today. Come on, maak het eers ons oor toe en dan bid ons eers lekker saam. Dankie Heere, dat u ons so in die palm van die hand draai en beskerm en bewaar dier al die dinge waar dier ons so gaan. Dankie Heere, dat boed het alles, u ons ook uit die woordheid leer hoe om ons harte te bewaar en sacht te hou tegen mekaar. Ek dankie Heere vir weisheid en inzicht en een salving op die woord in van oogense diens en, en harte wat gereed is en oor wat recht is om te luister en te ontvang en saad wat sal goeie vrug dra in tyd wat kom in Jesus naam. Amen. So um, with World Missions we've been doing uh, the Return South Africa. Um, whenever the word South Africa comes up in a conversation, I am there, or yes, we are really passionate about our beautiful country and um, perhaps you live in abroad and you, you live abroad and you don't know South Africa um, and you have not been here before, then I can just quickly tell you that South Africa is an extremely diverse nation. We have 11, 11 <laughs> official languages in South Africa, so very diverse and diverse people. We've been blessed to have traveled nationally and internationally and nationally, especially extensively in our beautiful country. So if you've not yet visited, come visit us. Um, you will not regret it. Yes, I know in 2020 we still often are asked by tourists or whether we have pet lines or lines around the streets or we live in mud huts. So no, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but we... Um, we are a beautiful country with wonderful cities and towns and no, no lines around the streets. So come and visit and come and have a look for yourself. Um, it's a land of splendor and beauty, really, really splendorous. And you cannot but see um, the greatness of God in his creation when you roam South Africa. It's a welcome, a land with welcoming people, and a we are a friendly nation. So whenever we travel in our country, um, that is what we most enjoy, the diverse cultures and the diversity of um, the South African people. We, uh, we have a wide and beautiful uh, variety of fauna and flora in our country, and we are truly blessed with wildlife like you can hardly imagine if you haven't been here that is a come to see so um really abundant in in beautiful wildlife and the majest, majesty of god's creation is just evident wherever you move around our nation our country is surrounded by two oceans um, on each side and i know my sister took me to Phuket and a lady asked me, where are you from? And we said, we are from Cape Town. And she like, no, she doesn't know where that is. And we said, well, we are from South Africa. And no, she doesn't know where that is. And um, then we said, well, do you know where Africa is? No, she doesn't know. Like, That's a whole continent. So, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no need to, to try and, and um, explain any further. So perhaps South Africa isn't as well known um, around the world, but it's a beautiful country that we love to live in. So 11 official languages. Um, Chris and I were fortunate enough to visit the USA and in Washington, uh, somebody asked us, one of the 
the um, Americans asked us, what language do you speak when we were talking to each other? And we said Afrikaans, and he said, oh, it's very sexy. So, <laughs> yeah, we have 11 of those languages, you can just come. So it's, lo it's lovely, it's lovely to be in our country. There's so much diversity and, and beauty that surrounds you. So we are only landlocked on the very northern border of South Africa. So traveling through the province, you can experience every culture. As you can hear, we are truly passionate about our country and, and her people. And we count it an honor to be able to live here in South Africa. Um, when traveling abroad, you, we soak up everything that that country has to offer and the people and oh, we just bring so much home and carry a little piece of that in our hearts when we come home but i'm telling you the best thing when i walk through customs i just have to hold back everything that i've with everything that i've got not to run to every single customs official and just hug them and kiss them on the lips because you're so happy to be back home this is home for us um we have many challenges, yeah, we do in South Africa, and uh, we hardly have a public transport system. Um, there are many challenges in our country, but let us pray for those changes and, and let us also focus inwards and be the change that we want to see in our country. A year or so ago, a Facebook page actually started, and you can go and check it out. It's called um, Hashtag I'm Staying. You only need to spend a minute on there. Um, with the South Africans to see that for the most sake people want to learn from each other and embrace one another's culture. It's a page full of positivity and um, that's the true. Um, in South Africa we speak about um, Ubuntu, the spirit of Ubuntu, that, um, that welcoming, bringing us all together, that that is, um, that is what and who we are as a nation at heart. So let us pray for unity in our diversity. Let us repent. And this is what um, the, uh, the Return South Africa is all about. To pray for repentance, um, uh, a return to God and repentance so that restoration can take place in our nation and God can restore that which was stolen and got lost. So let us repent of our words of death, gossip, criticism, cursing and prejudice. Let us um, repent of anger and violence and bloodshed. And let us humble ourselves and let us pray. Act 17, verse 26 to 27, and I'm reading from the New King James Version this morning. And it says, and he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they may feel their way toward him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. Racism is rooted in fear and in pride and it's evil. There is no unity in racism. The Bible clearly says that a house divided cannot stand, and so a country divided cannot stand. Matthew 12 verse 25 says, A house divided cannot stand, but Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. We need unity. We need to pray for unity. We need to be the unity that our country needs. Um, in Luke 6.45, the word says, Above all else, guard your heart, for from the abundance of the mouth, heart, the mouth speaks. And um, also in Proverbs 4.23, it says, From the heart flows the springs of life. We need to weigh and count our words when we speak of South Africa and her people. So this is not my land and this is not your land. This is our land. God predestined for us to live here. Those of us who were born here and those who have moved here, we 
so wherever in the world you are from but if you live here then this is your place then God has placed you here and this is our South Africa God placed us all here South Africa is South Africa because of what each of us brings to the table um, it is because of the diversity that our nation is the beautiful rainbow, na rainbow nation that it is so the, a theme for the Return to South Africa this year, as I've spoken about a few minutes ago, is to repent, return, and revive. So when there's repentance, things start to change, and we return to God, and revival breaks out. Repentance from our sins and rendering our hearts and returning to God our Father then God will bring revival. So let us dream, South Africa. Let us dream huge God dreams for our country. And let us pray those dreams into being. And let us live righteous lives. Let us not only pray for unity in our diversity, but let us live in unity and be the change. We are better together. And that is our cotton theme, our Church of the Nations theme for 2020, Better Together. South Africa we are better together. Let us also pray for healing for our nation. There is a brokenness and a hurt, a deep hurt in many hearts and lives of the people in our country. Only Jesus can bring lasting healing and only Jesus can pick up the shattered pieces and make it whole again. Only Jesus can heal the brokenness and only Jesus can turn the hopelessness into hope. The hate into love and defeat into victory. Let us take responsibility for our thoughts and our thought life because a thought becomes an action. Take responsibility for our actions because our actions have consequences. Let us filter all that we think and all that we say through the filter of God's word. Would it be okay to think do or say it if Jesus was physically standing right there in the room with you? Because if it's not, then it, we shouldn't say it. We shouldn't do it. It shouldn't be. Let our words be pure and edifying. Let us refrain from words that sow division and that break people down. Can you imagine a day when we as a people of South Africa truly realize the power of unity? And in serving Jesus and starting to live for Jesus and to actually really act upon that which we speak and, and, and what is said in the word. That is my South Africa. That is our South Africa. It may seem afar off, but God can change things around in a single night, in a moment and in an instant. So let's not grow weary in praying for revival for our country. As South Africans of all cultures, one of the many things that unite us is our resilience. A, a friend of ours from New Zealand said, she phoned and said, but um, isn't it bad with um, COVID in South Africa? Um, the television says it's bad, but when I look at people's Instagram posts and Facebook posts in South Africa, they seem so happy. It's just who we are at, in, at our core. We are resilient people. We look for joy. Isn't that a beautiful trait that we have? And that is something that unites us. I mean, we dance when we are unhappy. We dance when we are sad. We dance when we are happy. Who of you have seen Jerusalem? It's gone global. Beautiful words into the song. And our nation has been dancing to Jerusalem through, through COVID because we are resilient people. We don't take ourselves too seriously. Um, we don't mind laughing at ourselves and we don't mind cracking jokes, jokes about ourselves and have other people laugh at us. We honestly don't, don't mind. And um, that's why we love our people, our, our sense of humor, our sense of hunkering down and pushing through in hard times and, and doing it with a dance and a song. And um, it's our desire to see our nation healed, to see restoration where the enemy is coming to steal and to truly see unity in our beautiful South Africa. So let us pray for our nation for hope, for healing and for restoration. So 
for hope I want to read to you from Hebrews 6 verse 18 to 19 and it says that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation. We have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enters the presence behind the veil. And then for healing, 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and seek my face, pray, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Repentance also brings restoration. So, Zechariah 14, 11, The people shall dwell in it, and no longer shall there be utter destruction, but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. And I would love to encourage you to go back and during this week and rewind to these scriptures or forward to these scriptures and just pause there a moment and pray take time to pray over each of these scriptures so today's message is very different to the regular sunday service messages but as a church we cannot stay silent especially when it comes to something as important as racism we cannot stay silent we have to speak up when we stay silent we also silently agree which is wrong. The church can't be silent. Um, we have to speak and call that which is out, which is wrong and not of God. God looks at the heart. So let us look through God's eyes. Um, he created all of us equal. Then um, Psalm 133 verse 1 to 3 says, and it speaks of the blessing and unity um, of the people. So verse 1, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It's like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. So let me read verse 1 and 3 again and just join them together. It says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. For they, the Lord, commanded a blessing. To live in the commanded blessing, we have to live in unity. Let us pray. Thank you, God, that you dream huge dreams for our beautiful South Africa that you have planted us here and rooted us here and tied and knitted our hearts to this beautiful place with the beautiful people. God, I pray for unity amongst our people. I pray for hope to be restored. I pray for repentance of that that we are involved in or doing that is wrong. And I pray for restoration from your hand, not only in, on the outside in our country, but also in the hearts of every person living and dwelling in this beautiful land. I pray for us as a nation that we will stand up and say no more, no more, no more, no more. The devil has stolen too long and we've allowed him to. But it's time to take back that which is ours, and stand together in unity and, and really rend our hearts um, in, uh, before you and, 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 and run back to you and, and totally and passionately live for you only in everything that we do, that we say, and that we think. I thank you, God, that you can do all things and that no miracle is too big for you. So we pray for a blessing over your people in this beautiful country that we call home. And we thank you, God, for wisdom, for our leadership, and for hearts in our people that are soft towards each other, and for love to be a banner over us. Thank you for your wisdom and your kindness and your joy and your peace. We love you, Lord. But we thank you most of all for loving us first. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Baie, baie dankie familie dat jullie hierdie dienst saam met ons bijgewoon het vandag. En deel was en ek, ek wil julle rechtig bemoedig en luister na die um, dagstikkies wat ons elke dag op The Return uh, post online, YouTube en Facebook. En, en gaan ook een beetje terug in vandagse preek. We gaan bid oor hierdie skrifte. Dit is een uh, kort tykje wat ons nou hier aan spandeer het, maar dit is een gevechtige saak. En... Um, eeuwigheidswaarde wat daarin le, as ons hierdie ding in ons land kan verander en in eenheid saam kan staan. So weer eens baie dankie vir die, vir die saamluister, ons is so lief vir julle en um, dit is net vir ons so een voorraad om julle te doen. Geniet julle week en gaan in vrede. So I will call upon your name And keep my eyes above the wave. Dear Father God, today I surrender my life to you. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for my sin and for raising him back to life so that I can spend eternity with you. I am now your child. You are now my Father, and your Holy Spirit now lives in me. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. I love you. Amen. So I will call upon your name And keep my eyes above the way when oceans rise, my soul rests in your embrace, for I am yours, you are mine, oh, so I And my 